Good morning. So, my name is Zoe Hill. I have fibromyalgia. Um, <clears throat> I've been asked to discuss fibromyalgia in the workplace. Um, I think it's a very important topic because, because um, fibromyalgia is misunderstood. I think we do get um, the bad side of the stick, really. <clears throat> but... I mean, some people have good bosses, some people have understanding bosses. If you're unfortunate not to have one of those, then this is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm covering it for you. The first thing to do if you think you have fibromyalgia is you must go to your doctor. This is one, to um, make sure that your pain is being managed. Um, you will suffer with fatigue. That that's just one of the symptoms but hopefully everything every symptom that you have can be treated the fatigue part of things can't um unfortunately that's just something that you're just gonna have to deal with really i mean the thing is with fibromyalgia is when you are feeling good you have to it is so so important to rest especially if you work full-time or part-time. But the law in 2010 says that if you have fibromyalgia, you cannot be discriminated against. It's not just fibromyalgia. It's disability. Some people, some bosses may see fibromyalgia as a disability. Some people might see it. You know, you might, you might have fibromyalgia, but you might not suffer as much as others there are different types of fibromyalgia like mild media um and severe i would consider myself to have a severe um type of fibromyalgia because sometimes i can't even get out of i'm in bed yet again that was just a show <laughs> but get back onto the subject fibromyalgia in the workplace making sure you're not being discriminated against. First thing, go to your doctor, make sure you are on pain medicine. Discuss with your doctor um, how you are working. So if you're working full-time or part-time, they might give you advice. My doctor said for me to quit, which eventually I did um, because I was started shaking. I'm a dental nurse, well, I was a dental nurse, and shaking didn't go down too well with um, patients. I'm not sure why, you know, a little gag every now and again. It's nothing. <laughs> um, so, doctor, the next thing you must do is go to your boss or a manager, um, supervisor or something like that and discuss what you have, your symptoms, what's going to happen on a daily basis. Let them know. Um put things in place so if you tell them that it might be short notice that you you have to let them know that you can't come in put things in place so they can cover you um i think that's important make sure that they know that you you might have some time off um when you're at work if you get a chance you're going to need to rest um if you work part of a team, make sure that everyone's organised and they're, you know, they're aware that things can happen. Um, I think that's all you can do. You know, you have to discuss it with them, give them the opportunity to help you. Um, they have to put things in place for you. So whether that means lowering your hours, um, my boss wouldn't do that for me. Um, I had to work full time or nothing. Um, but in the end, I decided nothing. <laughs> if you have a nice boss and they are willing to, um, well, help you, they have to put in reasonable adjustments for you. Um, now that, you know, that could be if you're at a computer, help things like, um, they can give you one of those little spongy things to help with your back, um, help with your posture. They can help with um, your wrists and mouses. Um, 
give you a better chair. Um, it, you know, there's lots of things a, a boss can do, and I'm sure that they will try and help you because they want to keep you. If you feel discriminated against and you have been either sacked or made redundant or whatever, it might be worth taking that further. I'm not saying you should do that at all, but if you feel like you have been discriminated against, then taking it further um, is not a bad idea, really. Um, I think if you're going to lower your hours and things like that, you have to look at um, whether you can afford it. Money is a big thing, but your health is a massive thing. Your family is going to want you feeling better rather than working full time or all the time. They're not, they'd rather have you than money. But if you feel like you have been discriminated against at work, there is lots of things in place for you. Um, I would suggest maybe contacting a lawyer, like I said a minute ago, but... If something comes up where they want a meeting with you, an official meeting, it might not always be a bad thing. Um, you know, like I say, they, they're going to want to keep you. They don't want to train somebody else to do the position that you can already do. So if they can make it work, they should be wanting to do that with you. So, um, totally forgot what I was on about then. <laughs> heard a noise out there so I was like Ooh. um oh yeah keeping you keeping you so yeah um go to the meeting don't worry because that is a big thing worrying is going to make you worse so go to the meeting you are more than welcome to take someone with you maybe someone in HR someone that you trust um could even be Sutton's advice. If you guys have a lawyer, you could take him. It's nothing official. It's just to make sure that you do get the help that you need to continue working and continue the lifestyle that you want. If you want to leave, then it might be something that they're worth discussing with you. I guess it depends on how much time you've had off, but... So, the point is, if you have fibromyalgia and you still work, make sure you talk to your doctor, make sure you talk to your boss, make sure they put things in place for you to be able to work. Um, you can request things that you, you feel you need, um, and hopefully they will allow you to have that, you know, whatever you want. Um... But you sh you should be fine working. Uh, I I can't. I mean, I when I wake up in the morning, I am stiff as a blooming board. I take um, what do I take? Two, four, six, eight, ten pills in the morning. Jesus, um, just to get me out of bed, and then. I suffer with a headache, fatigue, my arms ache, uh, my back hurts, my neck hurts, sometimes my head feels so heavy, I can't hold it up, my neck just can't hold it up. That's why I think I lie in bed a lot, because it's comfortable, you know, I've got, well that doesn't particularly look comfortable, but <laughs> when I have my other pillow up it's comfortable. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, if you want me to, I know I'm a bit of a nerd, but if you do want me to address something, let me know and I will help as much as I can. Thank you.